Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Basecamp to manage your online education absolutely free. Okay, so I'm a really big fan of email newsletters because it's a place that you can go and you can actually get the latest tips or tools or resources from a, a whole ton of online professionals or websites or companies. Now there are some out there who like to send out essentially nothing but monthly or weekly discounts, which in some rare occasions can be useful. But I think for me personally, I found a lot of value in going to a lot of the thought leaders and brand experts and marketing experts and just getting their latest tools, tips and resources, typically via email. The problem with this, however, is that it is really easy to get overwhelmed, particularly if one of these experts or people who you have subscribed to their email newsletter is in the middle of a launch or a promotion, they can start sending you a ton of emails even throughout the course of a single week. And particularly if your email inbox is something that you're using on a day-to-day -day basis to manage your business, if you're emailing your clients and your customers, or you're doing support requests, having a whole bunch of email newsletters kind of mixed in there can lead to a quite, quite a bit of unnecessary overwhelm. So one of the things I did a while back or experimented with in order to help uh, alleviate this issue is I just created a separate email account and then when I I went in there to all of these different places I like to subscribe to and then I would just use this new special email address in which to subscribe to all of these new newsletters. What I found however is that it didn't really help solve the problem because I use Spark as my email uh, client of choice and one of the problems is that you've got all of those email accounts in the left hand sidebar and it can be just as distracting to see a whole bunch of emails right there alongside all the business ones that you're currently dealing with. So this led me to uh, as odd as it sounds to Basecamp which if you are a regular viewer of this channel you know that I'm a big fan of Basecamp that it is something that I've been using for years to manage my customers and my clients but as I've been using Basecamp more I found a, a lot of their kind of hidden features or less prominent features that I've been using for a wide variety of things. And one of those is actually managing my news, my email newsletters. So the great thing is that you're gonna be able to actually use what we're talking about here today with the free version of Basecamp. So I pay for the professional version, again, because I've got a lot of clients and files that are getting uploaded. But if you just wanna be able to manage newsletter subscriptions, you can do that right within Basecamp. So before I jump in and show you how, uh, one of the things that I wanted to touch on just really briefly was why you would wanna do this outside of just saving your email inbox. Okay, so I'm a huge proponent, a huge fan of continual education. One of the issues that I think a lot of us run into, particularly those of us who are trying to build a business or a brand on the web, is time. We just maybe watch a YouTube video here or subscribe to a course over here or get an email over here and it's just kind of this scattered, you know, approach to trying to learn. However, what can be really helpful is making yourself a regimented schedule uh, for going through and learning particular material. Again, whether you're trying to learn how to code, if you're trying to learn how to do video, if you're trying to learn how to do a podcast, whatever it is you're trying to learn, it helps to dedicate a specific amount of time to do that. And what I'm about to show you here with Basecamp, what you can do is take those email uh, newsletter subscriptions, which again can tie perfectly in with whatever it is you're trying to learn, and you can tie that into kind of an overall structured and organized approach to uh, your online learning. Okay, so without any further delay, let's jump in and I'm going to show you how you can uh, subscribe to email newsletters and organize your online learning all via Basecamp. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pop in here and we're going to go to Basecamp. Uh, dot com. I just went ahead and did a search, but you can just go into Basecamp and then at that point in time, you're going to reach their front page. Then what you want to do, and let's go ahead and open up Presentation Assistant. There we go. We're going to pop on over to Pricing. And under Pricing, if we scroll down, you'll see that they have a Basecamp personal plan that is absolutely free. So we're going to go ahead and click to sign up for that. So I'm just going to say my email address. There we go. Oops. 
and that would be first name. That's where reading comes in helpful. <laughs> so there we go. All right, then I'll go ahead and pick a password. There we go. And you'll see that I've got my brand new, totally free Basecamp account. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna be able to add our first new project. So again, Basecamp is at its core, a project management tool. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna call this my online education, right? So this is gonna be where I manage all the courses and materials for furthering my online education, right? So again, if this is gonna be your podcasting that you wanna learn more, you wanna learn more about creating videos, again, there's no shortage of it on the internet, but what there is a shortage of is organization. Okay, so Basecamp is traditionally used uh, in order to communicate with other people. So you'd have a message board, you'd have the campfire, which is kind of like Slack, that sort of thing. But we're not gonna be using this particular Basecamp project for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top right-hand corner and pick change tools. We're gonna turn off the message board. We're going to turn off campfire. And we're gonna turn on email forwards because that's gonna be that really important piece. Uh, again, okay, so automatic check-ins, we'll go ahead and leave that, although we probably won't be touching on that in this video. Okay, so we've gone through and we've organized that, and if you want to, if you wanna take a moment to reorganize how these show up, that's a good idea. If you wanna put maybe your schedule first and then your email forward second, the cool thing is you can go through and you can organize this to appear however you want. Okay, so again, we're gonna be focusing on the email forwards uh, for this particular video. So let's go ahead and start there and then I can jump through some ideas on how you can use this to actually further your organization of your online education. Okay, so first we're gonna pop on in here. We're going to find that they give us a special email address uh, to which we can receive emails. So we're gonna copy this to the clipboard. Then we're going to pop on out to any email list that we want to join. So for example, uh, a totally random non-specific example would be rightly.co slash subscribe. So again, that's gonna be the Rightly and Company email uh, newsletter. So we could just say, and then what we would do is we would paste in for the email address, we would paste in, oops, wrong link. We wanna paste in that uh, link or that special email address that we were provided by Basecamp. Then we're gonna click sign me up and you'll see that uh, you can check your, this is pretty common, it's gonna want you to check your email in order to, to uh, confirm that particular subscription and there you go. You see under email forwards, you have a new email. And one of the things to be aware of, however, is that using Basecamp, it's got kind of a unique way or a very basic way, I should say, of actually uh, parsing the emails that you receive. So. If you're subscribing to an email newsletter that's high in graphics or things like that, just know that it's not going to always parse those 100% accurately. This is gonna be very much the bare bones of the email that you're gonna be receiving. Okay, so to confirm your subscription, in this case, we would just click that link, at which point we would then be uh, confirmed in order to start receiving emails there. So we pop back out onto the front end. The great thing is every day you can just kind of check this and then rather than having to worry about having your email inbox cluttered, you can just get all of those subscriptions uh, or all of those subscription emails in this one place. Okay, so now with that basic idea out of the way, let's kind of take this a step further and see how we can start to use this in order to form our online education. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is that you create some sort of schedule for yourself so that uh, maybe once every other day or once per day, you wanna make sure that you go in here and you are uh, actually you know, setting aside time for your education. So let's say you wanted to learn podcasting. You just wanna make sure perhaps you wanna do that all day. You wanna pick a specific time and you wanna do this uh, every single day. So for example, maybe every weekday uh, and then we'll just keep that going. We're gonna post this event and then there you go. That's going to show up right on our calendar. You could then also go through here and let's say that, okay, so for Monday's podcast, uh, somebody sent me a really cool, and again, this is totally an example, but let's say somebody sent me a really cool email about how to, uh, what mixer I should buy. And you know, next Monday, I need to be practicing or learning more about podcasting. So I'm gonna click on that link. 
I'm gonna pop on in here to the discussion. I'm gonna leave a link to that email and then there you go. So then I know once that day comes up, let's say that, you know, obviously there's nothing on today's schedule. Monday comes around, I click on that link and then there you go. It clicks me right on over to that email and I've got it all in one particular place. Another thing that you can do once you've got your schedule nailed down is you might want to create a nice to-do list. So uh, let's say you got gear to buy for your podcast. So as you're going through and as you're doing your online learning, you know you got to buy a mic, you got to buy a mixer, you got to subscribe to something like a phonic. Uh, so that it can help you do your mastering. And one of the things I might do in the future is a, a video specific on all of that gear. But you can kind of see how this is pretty helpful and pretty useful. So again, you can have those uh, specific pieces of gear or maybe there's a course you're going through. So maybe there is, you're trying to do a webinar in OBS. And so first you gotta learn to go through uh, once this saves, so maybe once this saves, let's say you want to go through our uh, Rightly video series on that. Then you want to buy a new camera and you can kind of see those pieces. So again, for example, uh, for to head on over to rightly.co, oops, that's not going to be a URL. There we go, so if we scroll on down to the bottom, let's say, hey, maybe you wanna learn about uh, how to create a webinar with OBS. There's a whole series right here, totally free. So then we're gonna pop that in here, add it to the notes, save changes, and then there you go. So let's pop back out to the front side here and you're gonna start to see all of those things uh, in a nice little orderly way. So you're gonna be able to uh, and I believe they do have the functionality. I don't use this personally. Yes, there it is. So you're gonna be able to add this to your calendar. If you use Google calendars or uh, Apple or iCloud calendar, you can connect that as well. And then again, you have those list of all those email newsletters as they're coming through. Then of course, to recap again, you're gonna be able to go through and pick those specific to-dos that you're gonna need in order to continue to take action on what you are actually learning. So one of the things I would recommend in regards to this is that you use your schedule for just that. You go through and you would manage when you're going to dedicate time to your online learning. Email forwards is gonna be those email newsletters on the topics of the things that you're trying to learn. And then to-do lists are gonna be the specific actions you're going to take to ensure that you're actually putting your learning into practice. Look, because if you're just sitting there and you're watching videos all day, essentially what you're doing is nothing more than those who are watching Netflix, right? In order to really get the most out of any online education, you gotta make sure that you're taking action. And that's where the to-do section is gonna be super helpful. Okay, and then the last two pieces I wanted to touch on here, and again, particularly for your online education, would be the docs and files section. This is gonna be a place where, again, a lot of times to get on these email lists, they're going to provide you maybe an ebook or a PDF or a guide. Okay, so yeah, so let's see, I have this little uh, document that I received, so I could just drag that right onto Basecamp, give it a name if I need it. Uh, any notes that I wanna add can be added. It's been uploaded, so then you click post to the project and there you go. And of course you can go in here and let's, you can also make a folder. So you could say uh, these are perhaps my uh, PDF downloads or you know worksheets or something like that. And then you can just easily keep those nice and organized all within Basecamp. Okay, so the last thing we wanna to touch on here, and this is totally optional, but I just wanted to do it as kind of an honorable mention in terms of using Basecamp to manage uh, your online education, but you can go in here and you can actually go through and you can create things uh, that will kind of do automatic reminders for you. So if you want to be asked every single day what did you learn today, right? This would be a good prompt, a good question to ask, particularly if your goal is to further your online education. And then you can pick which days it shows up, whether it shows up once a week, and then on which days of the week that it shows up. So you can go through and pick that. You can also uh, decide whether or not it shows up at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, or if you want to specify a time. This is great because it's gonna cause you 
every single day. You can kind of think it as your daily or weekly uh, kind of journal entry where it's going to check in on you. You actually have to type out what you learned and you can learn, use it as well to kind of, like I said, almost like a journal to chronicle what it is that you're learning on a specific topic. Okay, so hopefully you found that helpful. Hopefully Basecamp is going to help you to begin to organize as you're going through the process of ordering your online education because again we can learn so much with what's out there on the web in particular if we take some basic steps in order to keep it all organized plus i hope that it also helps you with the added benefit of keeping your email inbox clean and tidy so as always if you found this video useful hit that like button subscribe if you're not already and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well just to ensure that you always get notified when we create a new video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this episode of Rightly TV. Be sure to click on one of the other episodes on this page. Plus, head on over to rightly.co where you'll be able to create a free account, which will give you access to all the videos, the podcast, articles, downloads, and more. Again, head on over to rightly.co and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.